In this video, I will show you how to blur faces quickly and easily. Face Mosaic allows you to blur a face without the use of overlays or keyframes. To blur faces using Face Mosaic, just open CapCut and tap on the plus sign to start a new project. Add your video clip. I'm just going to use a stock video clip that I got off pixabay.com. Select your clip and then tap on add. It will then be brought into the project. Now, I'm going to play the clip so that you can see that it is an actual video and I'm doing this in real time. I'll tap on the play button to begin playing the clip. I'll leave a link in the description to my previous videos in case this doesn't work for you because there are some problems with this effect and I'll get into those later on in the video, so make sure you watch this one until the end so that you can decide if this effect will work for you. The first thing that I usually always do is to delete the default end screen. I'm going to move back to the beginning of the video. And I'll tap on effects from the main timeline. Notice that there are two types of effects. There's video effects and there's body effects. This time, instead of using video effects, I'm going to tap on body effects. I'll swipe over until I get to the cover up section. Just keep swiping. You can also select cover ups from the top of this panel and you'll be taken directly there. These are the cover-ups. The one that I'm interested in for this tutorial is called Face Mosaic. And one thing I like about it is that you'll notice that after I apply it and adjust it, it automatically tracks the face. And you can place the effect on top of the main video layer. This means that you don't have to use an overlay like in my previous tutorials. And you also don't have to use keyframes to make sure that the face is covered up. You can adjust it just like any other effect. I'm not quite sure what the range slider does yet, but the size slider will increase the size of the pixels. To increase the size, move the slider to the right. To decrease it, move it to the left. I'm going to set it back to its original position. I'll tap on the downward facing arrow to dismiss the adjustment panel, and then tap on the check mark to go back to the main timeline. One thing I like about effects in CapCut is if I long press and drag, you'll notice that the effect automatically stops at the end of the video clip. I can automatically and quickly blur any face in any video. One thing I don't like about the effect though is it seems to only work on one face. I've done some testing with multiple faces and it seems to blur the first face that it can detect. If you are aware of what the range slider actually does inside the adjustment panel, drop a comment below. If you need to blur multiple faces within the same video clip, you'll need to use my other tutorials on how to blur faces. Once the effect has been applied, you can export your video by tapping on the export icon. Once you do, just wait patiently and you'll find the exported video with the face automatically blurred in your camera roll. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.